I do want to get the story in because it's very important and a lot of you are talking about it on social media today. Is Alabama about to execute an innocent man today? This is Nathaniel Woods, who at 6 p.m. Central Time is set to be executed. Even though the prosecutors agree, he never pulled the trigger. He was convicted of luring police officers into a house where three of them were killed. They said he was the mastermind, but out of 12 jurors, only 10 said he deserved the death penalty and in Alabama, the judge can sentence a person to death without a unanimous jury. Even if the man did, or even if the man who did pull the trigger, who is currently in prison, says Woods is completely innocent. Um, now, Martin Luther King III is one of many asking for the governor to intervene, tweeting this letter that asks, quote, are you willing to allow a potentially innocent man to be executed? Um, obviously, the clock is ticking on yes. this. Um, this is very alarming. Lindsay, I'm looking at your face and I, I'm wondering what you're thinking about this. Well, I'm just thinking there's 10, uh, 12 jurors and 10 of them decided on one thing, two of them were undecided. So if they can't even make up their mind, what makes this judge become God then and say, this is what we're going to do? You know, if there's any shadow of a doubt, I don't think we should kill him. I'm not saying we should release him because we're trying to still get all the details, but killing him today, you know, why does it have to be right now? I think they should take some time and think about people coming out like police officers that were on site saying that he did not do this. The, the guy who actually pulled the trigger saying he didn't do this and just think before you kill this well, guy. Well, this is the problem with the death penalty. It's like, Jeff, you always say like, you know, let, let's just like when somebody commits an egregious crime like Dylan Roof who killed those church parishioners. But he's not, we're not talking about him right now. Right. He went to Burger King while those people are still bleeding out on a church floor. So like this is the issue that we always have. It's just like, do Black Lives Matter or do they not? And this is the, the we have the receipts right here. And I think until we address the racial component of this, we can't continue to dance around it. So we'll talk about it more in the break. But I mean, this is what it is. And we have a man that even the cops are saying, yeah, it wasn't he didn't pull the trigger, but yet we're still here, and Dylan Roof is probably in a cell somewhere comfortable watching DBL.